How's it going guys? This is Sick Eric back again with another quick video and today I'm going to show you how to disable your bloatware on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus. And let's go ahead and jump right into it. And you're going to, first thing you need to be doing is you're going to be using an app called Package Disabler Pro. So when you go to the Play Store, you're just going to hit, um, you're going to type in Sam, uh, Samsung Package Disabler. And you're going to want the Pro version, which is about 149 I believe. I've already purchased this a long time ago when I had my Note 7 and it helped a lot. So uh, when you open it. It's gonna when you first open it, it's gonna ask you to to um, enable an administrator, an admin, and it'll do a little walkthrough. That way you can enable it, and it'll work through there. And um, it's pretty simple when it asks you to do that. So and um, so when you're going through it, it's gonna show everything that is considered bloatware as highlighted in pink. So. You also got to be careful as far as um, what you disable because you could mess up your phone. But it does give you an option when you click on it. You could Google it, and it'll tell you what that what that app does, what that service is, and if it's you know safe to delete as bloatware and stuff like that. And you could be saving some battery life as well, and and freeing up some RAM when you do some of this stuff. Let me just go ahead and show you what I have disabled really briefly and these are the apps that I've got disabled just because I don't use them uh, the T-Mobile adapt app that always ends up taking up battery and being run in the background so I always disable the device unlock you don't need a lot of these apps won't allow you to disable or uninstall in your normal settings so therefore that why that's why you uh, download package disabler to do so I disable the T-Mobile apps. You don't really need those. Look out. Always tends to come back even though you do disable it. But um, that's just a list of the apps that I have disabled. And you could go through and you could disable pretty much anything you want on here. As long as it is pink and you're comfortable and you know what that app does. And if you go down here, you have all your Bixby stuff. Uh, since you can't remap that button just yet. Um, you could disable all of your Bixby apps so when you end up do pushing that button nothing will happen which is really really cool I have all of these set so far but uh, I probably will end up disabling them and if you just go through you could see the apps that are highlighted in the pink those are safe for disabling just click on it and google it and it'll tell you information on that app as far as if it's safe or not to remove or disable and the consequences of doing it so that's that's a pretty nice feature I've always liked this app I've used it a lot um, I used it on a note 7 because apparently it was necessary to use it to disable apps in a free RAM um, at the bottom here it shows you how much RAM is free out of the total you know and the more you disable that number will increase but uh that was just a quick video. Um, I'll post a link below uh, as far as um, the link to the uh, package disabler so you could go ahead and get that and download it and get started. And that was just a quick tutorial on how to disable bloatware on your Samsung Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus or any other Samsung device. Uh, it works really well. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.